take a look at the ingredients we need for this recipe. Here I've taken 200 grams of boneless chicken thigh. You can use chicken breast as well, but chicken thigh is more succulent and tender. That's why I'm using that. You can see a little bit of chicken fat here. This came along with the chicken thigh boneless. It gives the chicken momos a very good taste, but if you do not want to use the chicken fat, you can avoid that. So this was about our chicken thigh boneless. Now let's move to the next ingredients. We need half teaspoon of crushed black pepper, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste, two tablespoon of chopped fresh coriander, one fourth cup of spring onions green portion, finely chopped, some salt to taste, We'll need 1 teaspoon of oil. To make the momo cover, we need 2 cups of all purpose flour or maida, some water to knead the dough, and 1 medium sized onion which is finely chopped. I forgot to show that in this part. We'll start with the dough, so for that, take 2 cups of all purpose flour or maida in a bowl, add some salt to taste. Give this a good mix. Now add a little water at a time and make a soft smooth dough. We don't want the dough to be very stiff and very soft. So just medium soft dough is what we need. The dough is now ready. Cover this with a damp cloth and keep aside for 10 to 15 minutes. Meanwhile we'll prepare our stuffing. So here I've taken 200 grams of boneless chicken thigh. You can use chicken breast as well. Now add this chicken to your blender jar. Now blend this to a coarse paste. We don't want it to be very fine. So you can see we've minced the chicken. Now to this chicken we are going to add the next ingredients. Add 1 4th cup of spring onions green portion which is finely chopped. 2 tablespoon of chopped fresh coriander or more as per your taste. Half teaspoon of crushed black pepper. 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Some salt to taste. 1 teaspoon oil. and one medium sized chopped onion. Give this all a good mix. Our stuffing is now ready. Now let's take a look at the dough which we had prepared. It's been 15 minutes. We need to now again knead this for a few seconds. So dust your worktop with some plain flour and knead the dough. Now roll the dough like so. Now divide this dough into portions of equal size. Now we'll take one portion and roll it. Again, dust your worked off with some plain flour and using your rolling pin, roll this sheet. I mean, roll this dough to make a sheet. The edges of this sheet should be thin compared to the center. That's how you get good momos. So, I've prepared one sheet. Similarly, I'll make a few more. Yeah, while I was rolling all the sheets, I was covering them with damp cloth and you can see I dusted the sheets with some plain flour so that they don't stick to each other. Now take one sheet and place some stuffing on it like so. Now pinch the edge of this momo sheet like this and start gathering pleats 
and move along the edges till you make all the pleats And once you reach the other side just pinch and leave it we are going to leave a little bit of gap here but if you want you can close the mouth of this momo similarly make rest of the momos so here to show you i've made six momos and now we are going to steam these So this is the steam setup which we are going to use in a big kadhai or pressure cooker or a vessel take some water place a stand you can use a sieve like this apply some oil you can use that to steam the momos but i'm going to use the bamboo steamer because i have it i just love it so i have lined it with parchment paper and i have oiled it as well now once the water starts boiling place your steamer your bamboo steamer or the sieve onto it and place all the momos we are going to cook these momos on high flame so if you're using a bamboo steamer it comes along with a lid but if you're using a sieve cover the kadhai with a plate now cover this and steam this for 15 to 20 minutes and after 15 minutes you can see beautiful momos are ready to be eaten or to be devoured serve it with momo chutney and enjoy